Assalamu alaikum, dear students. Welcome you all to the online class of Dr. Khastudi Government Girls High School, Chattogram. I hope, my dear learners, you all are fine and stay at home. I am also fine by the grace of Almighty. So after the observance of our Eid Fitr, we are again are doing our online classes. So let me introduce myself and Sabrina Islam, your English teacher. So today I'm going to uh, start an English class for you, for my dear learners. Okay, so what is our today's topic? What is written here? What can you see here? Yes, here is written, a flower is very beautiful. This is a sentence. I think you have got uh, the information, the ideas about different types of sentences. According to its functions, according to sentences functions, uh, this is divided, sentence is divided into five categories. But I am not talking about that one. I am talking about another one that is according to function, not function, according to its structure, its construction. Uh, sentence is divided into three categories. I think you know it very well. Yes, the first one is simple. Second one is complex. And the third one is compound. So uh, you can guess actually which is our today's topic. Our today's topic is uh, changing sentences from grammar part and the changing sentences among these three types simple, complex, and compound. So before doing this, actually, you should have the clear idea about different types of clauses, different types of phrases, different types of conjunctions. So look here. I want uh, to make you clear by writing uh, these three types of sentences and different clauses and also different conjunctions. In simple sentence, to make a simple sentence, you should have a subject and one final verb. And also you can have a phrase. So by this way, we can make a simple sentence, complex sentence, look here. My father gifted me a chain on my last birthday, which is made of gold. So here you can see uh, two clauses are there. The red underlined one is called independent clause. You can name it in different ways like principal clause or main clause. As this clause is not dependent on the other part or other clause. So which is made of gold? This is a dependent clause or you can name it Subordinate clause. Subordinate means dependent. So you can see which is made of gold. This is dependent on the first clause, on the independent clause. That's why this is called dependent clause. So how can you make a complex sentence? By using a, uh, an independent clause and also a subordinate clause or dependent clause, you can make a complex sentence. And of course, you have to use subordinating conjunction there. Here, which is the subordinating conjunction? And you can see there are uh, so many subordinating conjunctions. Then compound sentence. How can we make how can we make a compound sentence? My father gifted me a chain on my last birthday. This is an independent clause and it is made of gold. This is a coordinate clause. That means one independent clause and one coordinate clause are together we make a compound sentence and here you can see some coordinating conjunctions which you can use to make compound sentences here and is a coordinating conjunction that's why this is called coordinate clause so we have got here three types of <coughs> clauses independent dependent and coordinate clause and these two types of conjunctions will be used to make complex and compound sentences. I think uh, you, uh, you have been clear about these points and phrase. There will not be a subject and final verb, only a group of words which will, will be used in sentences, in different sentences. So now, now I am showing you some ways how can we make, how can we change sentences among these three types? Look here, the first one, 
because of her illness she could not attend her classes regularly they are because of her illness disease a phase so as it describes the reason so what we have used here since since is a subordinating conjunction and we have made we have changed this phase into a clause look here since she was ill but in simple sentence this was because of her illness which was a phrase but in complex sentence this has been changed into a clause subordinating clause subordinate clause or we can say dependent clause and the independent clause she could not attend her classes regularly there will be no change and compound how we uh, change it into compound sentence look here since will not be used here she was ill and so she could not attend her classes regularly next one look here for his ready wit the capsular solved his problem very easily so here again for his ready wit this is the reason so we have used as as the capsular had ready wit why had because uh, the tense is used here that is past tense that's why we have also used uh, past tense here as the capsular had ready wit to solve his problem very easily again we, i have uh, made it for you the capsular had ready wit and so he solved his problem very easily now look here for because of due to owing to on account of so if you get these okay uh, in your simple sentences uh, to make it complex you can use things as because and for making it uh, changing it into compound you can use and and so and does and therefore so i think it's clear to you now look another look at another one if you get in spite of or despite how can you change it into complex and compound in spite of having much tolerance he sometimes acts out of control look here i have used here although that means the phrase every time the phrase has been changed into clauses to make it complex and compound look here although he has much tolerance he sometimes acts out of out of control here although he has much tolerance this is subordinate clause and he sometimes acts out of control that is independent clause again look here in compound he has much tolerance but he sometimes acts out of control so uh, the sentences which has uh, which have in spite of or despite you can change them by using do although uh, to make it complex and use but to make it compound i think uh, it is clear to you so i am going to the next one okay look here infinitive phrase which one is called infinitive phrase look here two plus bhar with base form and if you get other words with them in that part that is called infinitive phrase here to gain knowledge that is infinitive phrase uh, okay so if you get two plus bhar with base form then for with the due to with the purpose of in order to that means this describes the purpose so in that case how can you change it yes by using so that instead of to and after so that you should have you should make a clause a subordinate clause to make it complex so look here we should form the habit of reading books so that we can gain knowledge then to make it compound instead of to or so that you can use and the we can gain knowledge so we should form the habit of reading books this is independent clause and from here and thus we can gain knowledge this is coordinate clause okay then there is another one they visited the fair with a view to again instead of with a view to you can use so that and after that subordinate clause they could buy 
some new books and remember to maintain the tense given in the past clause okay they visited the book fair and so they wanted to buy some new books in this way you can change this one okay next one buy plus didn't without plus didn't by atten attaining this is by plus didn't then without plus didn't without plus verb with ing form that is called without plus didn't how can you change this okay uh, if you attain some essential qualities here you can see uh, the phrase this phrase is uh, has been changed into subordinate clause by using if plus affirmative clause and here look here if plus negative clause that means for without you should make a negative clause here if you do not discharge your responsibilities then this independent clause will be remain same will remain same then in compound you attain or you can make it in imperative attain some essential qualities and here use and look here you have to uh, correct here use and for by plus gerund so the whole sentence will be attain some essential qualities and you can use and does and does you can be a good citizen then look here discharge your responsibilities look here there will be one conjunction i have mistaken here okay look here use or discharge your responsibilities or you cannot be a good human being or you can use otherwise i think you uh, uh you uh, have the clear information here <coughs> to make to change it into complex you should have use if plus affirmative clause then for compound you should uh, use and but for without plus didn't you should uh, use if plus negative clause <coughs> and then for making compound you should use or otherwise i think it's clear to you okay look at the next one adjective plus noun look here an old man here old is adjective and man is noun so how can we change it yes look here there was a man in our village who was old that means by using only that adjective we have made another clause subject clause here look here there was a man in our village and he was old so every time you should remember that you have to uh, you have to uh, for making complex for changing into complex you should need one subordinate clause and one independent clause and for compound sentence you should uh, use two independent clauses and you should connect them by using coordinating conjunction look here there is another one the idol cannot shine in the they are the plus adjective if you get this types of subject in that case you can uh, change it in this way the people who are idle cannot shine in the look here i want to show you uh, something here so here who are idle this is subordinate clause and the people cannot shine in light that means those people cannot shine in light you can use those people also here <coughs> or you can use some people so the people cannot shine in light this is independent clause so subordinate uh, clause uh, can be like that in the middle of the independent clause look here those people are idle and so they cannot shine in light here those people are idle this is independent clause again you have got another independent clause so they cannot shine in light here and is co coordinating conjunction so you can say it coordinate clause i think it's very much easy for you 
Okay, now look at the next one. Present participle, that means verb, it is in the form, then past participle, verb. Uh, okay, completing her work, uh, this is present participle, she went outside. So, uh, you can uh, use as or since, or you can use here uh, when. So, I have used here as, as she completed her work, she went outside. So, as she completed her work, this is subordinate clause. Again, look here, she completed her work and so she went outside. Here we have got one independent clause and one coordinate clause. Okay, look at the next one. The people living below the poverty line lead a very miserable life. The people who live below the poverty line, so I think you have, uh, uh, you can identify the subordinate clause here. Who live below the poverty line, this is subordinate clause. And the people lead a very miserable life, that is independent clause. So look here in compound, some people live below the poverty line and they lead a very miserable life. Okay, there is another example. The school magazine published, here you can see the past participle form of verb by the students was very attractive. So in the case of, in case of past participle, what you should do? Yes, you should do, you should uh, make the subordinate clause into passive form by using passive voice. So look here, uh, I have changed here in this past participle. The school magazine which was published by the students was very attractive. So look here, I have used the passive voice, which was published. Then the next one, the school magazine was published by the students. This is the independent clause, but in passive mood. And it was very attractive. So this is another independent clause, or we can say uh, coordinate clause. So, uh, in these ways, we can uh, change the sentences where uh, in simple sentences we get present participle or past participle. I think you know there is another participle. Okay, look here. <coughs> perfect participle. How you can identify the perfect participle in the sentences. Look here. Having forgotten him. When you get having plus verb with past participle form, then you can say perfect participle. That means in these uh, phrase you should have, you should use the perfect tense according to the given tense, present or past. So look here, having forgotten him. After I had forgotten him, you can use after, you can think as or when. But remember to use uh, the past, uh, the perfect form of the tense. So after I had forgotten him, I went outside. Then here compound, <coughs> you can use past tense or you can use past perfect tense. I had forgotten him and I went outside. Here, add, had. Okay, in this uh, after I and this is forgotten. <coughs> I had forgotten. <coughs> I had forgotten. Uh, correct here. I had forgotten him and I will outside. <coughs> you can use so or then. <coughs> <coughs> there is another one. The sun having set. They returned home. <coughs> So how can we uh, change this one? Again, I have used after. After the sun had set past perfect tense and they returned. Okay, uh, correct here. There is not the end. Give a comma here. So after the sun had set, they returned home. And the next one, compound. The sun had set and they returned home. Okay, in this screen, uh, you have some corrections, please. Uh, I am repeating again 
uh, correct here. In compound, it will be I had forgotten him and I went outside. And here, uh, there will be not be and, there will be a comma. That means after the sun had set, they returned home. <coughs> I think it's clear now. <coughs> okay, now look at the next one. <coughs> noun or noun phrase? Which one is noun? Okay, look here, honestly, this is noun. But if we uh, look at this one, the reason of his silence. Everybody knows the reason of his silence. That is noun phrase. As we have got here, more than one words. That means a group of words. Or here he feel. This is also noun phrase. So if you get these types of uh, noun or noun phrase in simple sentences, how can you change these into complex and compound? Look here. You can use the relative pronoun. It is honesty, which is the best policy. It is honesty, and it is the best policy. Very much easy. Everybody knows the reason of his silence. Everybody knows why he is silent. Then he is silent and everybody knows the reason of it. Here he is silent. This is uh, one independent clause. And everybody knows the reason of it uh, by using and. Uh, you can make this coordinate clause. The boy admitted his guilt. The boy admitted that he was guilty. Here that he was guilty. That is subordinate clause. The boy was guilty and he admitted it. So here, uh, the boy was guilty. This is independent clause. And, and he admitted it. This is coordinate clause. So I think it's clear to you. <coughs> uh, there is another one. Look here. Two adjective two. The poem was too difficult to understand. So here, you have got this structure. So how can you change this? Yes, by using so. Uh, instead of two and instead of two, you can use that. And you know, after that, you have to make a clause by using subject. So look here, the poem was so difficult that it could not be understood. And this has been made, it uh, has been made uh, by using, <coughs> by using passive voice as there is no subject, active subject. The poem was very difficult and so it could not be understood. Okay, another one, simple. The load is too heavy for the man to carry. Again, the same structure is here. So how can we change it? The load is so heavy for the man that here we have got the subject, active subject. So we have used here, he, he cannot carry it. <coughs> The load is so heavy for the man, that is independent clause, and that he cannot carry it. This is subordinate clause, or we can say uh, dependent clause. Okay, next look here, how I have uh, changed it into compound. The load is very heavy for the man, and so he cannot carry it. <clears throat> so I think these 10 ways, these 10 rules are clear to you. Uh, to change, I think you can uh, change the sentences. There are uh, more rules, more ways. Uh, I have attached uh, here this class, so you can look at those also. And also, I think uh, if you uh, see attentively, uh, if you uh, try to understand, you can understand them very well. So now I want to show you something. Look here, <coughs> what we have done here. Okay, look here, simple sentence. I have already shown it. Uh, independent clause plus phrase. Complex sentence, independent clause, one independent clause plus one dependent clause. Again, uh, in compound sentence, you will get <coughs> one independent clause and also uh, coordinate clause. So uh, how we have uh, changed uh, every time, uh, or we can say most of the time, we have changed the phrase into subordinate clause. And the independent clause, uh, this uh, will remain same without any change. <clears throat> then look here again, the dependent clause again. 
okay tain into the coordinate clause and the independent clause it will remain same without any change but in some cases you have to change the independent clause also or you have to uh, actually follow different ways but most of the time we change the phrases that we have uh, we get in our simple sentences we change those phrases into dependent clause and the dependent clauses into coordinate clause i think uh, you can uh, actually uh, by practicing uh, the sentences different sentences from your own book you can <coughs> change uh, these sentences these changes very well so uh, there are some more rules i am not describing them but showing uh, to you okay look here all of you look here if you get during at in from at the time of at the age of in the month of okay in simple sentences by using when where why after before okay these you can make complex sentences and by using and you can make compound sentences at the time of his danger when it was his danger or you can say when it was the time of his danger you can uh, understand it easily okay next one you hear dhaka a city of mosques and monuments has a very glorious history okay dhaka which is a city of mosques and monuments here which is a city of mosques and monuments this is subordinate clause here dhaka is a city of mosques and monuments and it has a very glorious history so if you get a positive this is called a positive okay the writer of gitanjali you can uh, make it uh, the subordinate clause to make it complex okay next one <coughs> both and besides plus viram if you get this that's the structure types of clues you can change by following my words okay what is the next one in case of okay look here in case of her intelligence sorry negligence so if she neglects so uh, from this phrase i have uh, made a new subordinate clause yes then in case of your failure this is a phrase that i have uh, changed it into a subordinate clause if you fail to perform your duty okay next one enough plus noun <coughs> enough plus noun the students the poem is so easy that the students can understand the poem is very easy and so the students can understand if you get enough plus noun uh, you can change the sentences by following my ways okay next <clears throat> there is a homework for you i have uh, given here 10 sentences a set of sentences so try to change these sentences according to the directions given in the brackets and practice from your own book i think by practicing you can develop yourself in this grammar part that's all for today my dear learners thank you all for attending the class and all of you stay home and stay safe and also <coughs> follow the rules of health thank you all again allah hafiz